What is going on guys? Welcome back. Quick video for you. I gotta say, if you're familiar with the process here, then you understand what's happening. Foodie will post something that isn't actually in line with what she says has been happening. The community responds and demands accountability. She then does a community post or a video trying to justify her side of things. And then to alleviate any pushback, she turns off the comments and says she needs a break. Once this happens, and this is time tested, once this happens, she finds a reason to come back online. Sometimes it's a video Natter did, other times it's SBL, now it's a post from Didi. And I'm not even going to sit here and try to dissect either one of these posts, because to be fair, neither one of them really needed to be made. You know, if you're happy and content in your life, Didi, if you're happy and content in your life, Chantal, then I don't understand where all this back and forth is coming from, prize fighting essentially over the affection of Natter. From a content creating standpoint, this is a limited time proposition you understand. Number one, somebody's going to lose a channel over this. I mean, just what Chantal posted alone is going to be the third strike if she keeps it up. But only so long can people be enamored with this drama. For only so long are people going to care about this story, which, according to Chantel, is all this is from the voicemails that we heard. It's just a story that they're playing out. If you actually want to make money on YouTube, then you need to sit down and create content. And I'm not saying it can't involve drama. It most certainly can. But you're going to have to do something that has redeeming qualities redeeming value going through the same processes and arguments time and time again for the same exact reasons is just going to get you and everyone watching tired and that's where so many people are that's why when Chantel puts up a video about a cheese dream she had it gets 5,000 views but she'll sit there and mock so many other people in the community for only getting 5,000 views she should look at that as a real wake-up call that her content does not stand alone very well. And if she wants to continue to be a full-time creator, she needs to stop this back and forth with everyone in the community and focus on her content. YouTube just gave her a week to think about that. And you can see in just a few days, she's right back to where she was. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. You know I will be back, just like Foodie will. Or until YouTube says she can't be back. Soon as I can, with more content.